Hi, it's me, Sakib Nasir. You're watching me on DesiBlitz.com. DesiBlitz.com Sakib, tell us a little bit about yourself, your childhood, and growing up. Okay, when I was young, I started playing snooker when I was about eight years old. And then basically my dad used to work in a snooker club. And I started like getting the passion for snooker from that age. I used to play PlayStation a lot. So my dad got me out the house, started like getting me in, into snooker clubs and started playing like snooker and stuff. So that's how I really got into snooker, through my dad, basically. Can you recall uh, the first time you picked a snooker cue? At what age? I was about eight on a small little table, a six foot table, and then just started playing from there. When and how did your uh, passion for snooker start in terms of when did you start getting serious about it? I started getting serious when I was about 13. I got I went to, used to go to Leicester with uh, one of my mates, started playing in the like, big tournaments and stuff, starting doing well. And then I thought, you know what, I can actually give this a try and then started playing from this, like seriously. Talk us through, um, shed some light about some of your mentors or snooker coaches over the years. Coaches, my dad's the main coach who's helped, helped me from the start with my foundation and everything. I've been to a lot of coaches like Terry Griffiths, Dale Hill, and a lot of other coaches as well. And like, I've practiced with a lot of pros as well. So with the coaches, they've said to me, that there's nothing wrong with your technique and everything. They're just going, you need to play more and more and hopefully get stronger and stronger that way. And where do you think there is still room for improvement in your game? Uh, there's always room for improvement. There's no one perfect. So there's always like, there's always room for improvement, but I'm working on my game now, stronger and stronger. So hopefully it comes out. What would you say are your greatest achievements in snooker so far in terms of wins, breaks and if you can give some examples? I won the English ranking series a while ago, about a few years ago. Uh, beating Jimmy White was a big win as well. Uh, getting to like later stages in tournaments in like PTCs and a few other tournaments and uh, getting to the final in the England under 21s, losing to Kyron Wilson. So yeah, that's about it. And really getting the highest break in Q school as well in one of the years. Uh, I got the highest break and one three seven in one of the, like the Q schools. And I've beat quite a lot of players as well, like top players. And a lot of them are pro now. So hopefully I'm like willing to push on as well from there. You've said that you've actually played alongside pro players. Can you give yeah. some examples? Like I've played in tournaments or in practice? Even practice? In practice, I've practiced with Tom Ford a lot. Practiced with Tom Ford a lot, Mark Joyce. Used to practice with Adrian Gunnell a lot. Um, there's so many Mitchell man. He's like based here as well, so I practice with him quite a lot. Uh, Hamza Akbar, used to practice with him. Obviously he's gone to Pakistan at the moment, but um, there's so many players like, uh, who else can I say? Who I've got on top of my head. Andy Lee from Hong Kong. And what about in terms of, you know, you've obviously spent time with some great coaches and yeah. you've probably been to different academies. Yeah. What have you learned from them? I've learned a lot. Um, it's all in the mind and it's all in the practice, but I've learned like, it's different atmospheres in different academies and stuff, but it's nice to see like, the academies like producing like good players and stuff so it's nice to play good players and decent players in the academies what can you tell us more about the victory against whirlwind uh jimmy white during the 2015 australian open qualifiers what were the highlights how did you win that game For, um at the start it's a big name i thought okay i'm playing jimmy white he's one of the like the uh, uh crowd pleaser and he's like one of the biggest people's fans so I thought, okay, that's like expectations off me. There's more expectations on him. And I just relaxed and played my game. And I thought I can beat him. And just had belief in myself. You've been going to Q school um, and were quite close uh, in 2020. 
How tough is it out there and what is the experience like? It's really tough out there because it means a lot to every single person. So it is really tough, plus, uh, especially playing a short format, best of fives at the start and then playing best of sevens. It is really tough, but at the same time, it's if I think you've got to be mentally strong and relaxed to get through, but you need a bit of luck as well at the same time. So it is a tough one, but hopefully come back next year stronger. Losing in round five, what, what was the feeling? How gutted were you? I felt like I lost everything at that time, literally, like, basic, yeah, it's literally like I lost everything at that time when I lost, but yeah, it's, it's a tough one to take. Moving away from snooker, what are the three most desi things about you, Sakib? Desi things, um, I like my Asian food, the spicy Asian food, I like Bollywood films a lot, and what else can I say? like the cricket as well. Follow the cricket. Which team do you support? <laughs> Pakistan, of course. Pakistan and England. And in terms of Bollywood, any favourite actor or actress and your favourite Desi food? Uh, favourite actor, I'll say Shah Rukh Khan and Salman Khan, John Ibrahim. Uh, food, I like my spicy food, so like chicken tikka, chicken tikka masala and stuff like that. Finally, what does the future hold for Sakib Nasser? Hopefully, I'm going to practice hard, get my game back in good shape, and hopefully give it a strongest try next next year, and get my foundation right and get all my uh, game fully right, and then hopefully come back stronger next year. Sakib Nasser, thank you for joining us on this Blitz. We wish you all the very best for the future. Cheers. Thank you.